Hi everyone! So today, we will be discussing time rates application of the differential calculus. First topic is distance, velocity, and acceleration. Instantaneous velocity is the derivative of the distance function and the instantaneous acceleration is the derivative of the velocity function with respect to time. The distance a body travels is a function of time t and is defined by x of t is equal to 18t plus 9t squared. What is its velocity at time is equal to 3? Given the function x of t is equal to 18t plus 9t squared at time is equal to 3. First step. We need to differentiate the equation since it is a distance equation. Therefore, we have 18 plus 18t. Substituting time is equal to 3, we have 18 plus 18 times 3. So, the velocity is equal to 72. Example number 2. If the distance x from the point of departure at time t is defined by the equation x of t is equal to negative 16t squared, plus 5,000t plus 5,000, what is its initial velocity? Given the equation x is equal to negative 16t squared plus 5,000t plus 5,000, at time is equal to 0 since this is the initial time. First, we need to differentiate the equation so that we will have the velocity function. And it is equal to negative 32t plus 5,000. Substituting t is equal to 0, we will have negative 32 times 0 5 plus 5,000 is equal to 5,000. Example number 3. A stone is thrown straight up at time is equal to 0 so that its distance above the ground at time t is given by the equation s of t is equal to 112t minus 16t squared. With s in feet and t in seconds, how high does the stone rise and when will it hit the ground? Given the function s of t is equal to 112t minus 16t squared we need to differentiate it so that we will get the velocity function which is 112 minus 32t at the highest point we all know that the velocity there is equal to 0 so substituting v is equal to 0 We will get the time which is equal to 3.5. Substituting time is equal to 3.5 on the original equation which is the distance equation. We will have 112 times 3.5 minus 16 times 3.5 squared which will result to 196. And this is the distance traveled by the ball upwards. Next, solving for the time t. We need to add up the time it goes up and the time it goes down. So the time total is equal to 3.5 plus 3.5 which will result to 7 seconds.